There has been so much controversy surrounding the Mass Effect board game because we knew that they were adding pronouns on the character sheets and the, of course, designer attacked fans as effing man babies simply for criticizing this decision. And now we're finding out that Asmodee, the Czech Republic, vows to remove pronouns from their version of the game. I have a few different things to show off, but before I get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, join the community in my live streams, and consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now, the majority of people do not want identity politics shoved into their entertainment, whether it's movies, TV shows, books, video games. We just want good entertainment. Things like this are supposed to be a form of escapism. It's like with Dragon Age of Elgard. Why do I want to play a fantasy game with magic and dragons and hear current day terminology like transgender and non-binary and have to pick my pronouns. I think that that's extremely ridiculous and many other people do too. And now Asmodee Czech Republic is vowing to remove the pronouns from their version of the game. So Michael Irk, the board games brand manager for them, vowed to remove the pronouns. The game of course became infamous back in early October when the game's creator Eric Lang described players as effing man babies and accuse them of trying to tank the game's review score on Board Game Geek, quote, because they can't handle looking at pronouns on a character sheet. It's not that we cannot handle looking at pronouns on a character sheet. It's that we simply do not want to have to. And that is a decision that people can make. If I was playing this, right, with a group of friends and they all wanted to put pronouns on their character sheets, they could make that decision, but that doesn't mean I would have to adhere to it. That does not mean that everybody should have this forced in their faces. And of course, this decision, I'm sure, was made by a plethora of people, but the game's creator, Eric Lang, is the one who really ignited the situation because he came out and said that we're all effing man babies, and he said he hates talking about this on social media, but he was begging people to go and leave positive reviews on BGG to offset the man babies trying to tank the rating with ones. And at this point in time, when he came out and said this, there wasn't even that many people who left ones. It was like 20 people who left ones and there were at least 10 tens. So he basically just put a torch to this kindling, right? There was only a couple of people, but it seemed that he was extremely offended by this happening, but it just caused the Streisand effect to happen because even more people were paying attention to this. Even more people were talking about it. And then we also found out that this individual, Michael, is vowing to remove the identity politics from the Czech Republic version of it. In a recent recent post to the game store page on the Czech website. Uh he declared, as translated by DeepL, well, we think it's absolutely unnecessary to mention it, so there won't be any pronouns in this version of the character cards, or we won't put them there, and we'll argue with the publisher that we don't want them there. They don't make sense at all, which I totally and completely agree with. If you have played Mass Effect, you clearly know these characters' pronouns, but to top that off, when you look at a character like Liara, you can clearly tell that that is a woman and you would refer to her as female pronouns. We, of course, know that if you look at Shep, it's a he slash him, right? That clearly he's a man. Like, not only are you treating people like they're idiots and that they cannot figure out what you would refer to this character as by just looking at this image, but you're also just shoving unnecessary politics in our faces because that is what adding pronouns to character sheets and character cards is really all about for people like Eric Lang. He does not care about respecting the material. He cares about pushing an agenda, which is normalizing, having to go around asking people what their pronouns are. And it's easy to do when it's a fictional character because you can't ask the fictional character if this is true or not, if, oh, do you want to be referred to as a she slash they? So it's easy for them because they say, oh, it's really not that important. It's just a small addition. But if it's not that important, why add it in the first place? It's like with censorship, if it wasn't that important or it wasn't that serious, why change it in the first place? You could simply tell people, hey, if you want to change this character's pronouns when you're at a table with all your friends, 
you go for it. But it should not be on the printed version of this product. It's so ridiculous. But I can't say that I'm shocked because this is still EA and Bioware, right? So even though Eric Lang is the one who is making the decision because he is the game director, he still had to converse with Bioware. And we see the direction that Bioware's headed over the past couple of years with all of the bad games they've made. But most recently with Dragon Age the Veilguard, they added unnecessary identity politics. It's basically just, you know, mental illness simulator with having modern day terminology like transgender, non-binary, having your characters pick their pronouns and constantly going around having to deal with characters like Tosh who only want to talk about their identity and how they're struggling to cope with the decisions that they've made in their life. Oh my gosh, it's just so ridiculous. And I bet that Eric Lang was hired and he was like, oh, can I add pronouns in modern day Bioware was like, oh, that's a fantastic decision because this is just the direction that they've headed over the past couple years. And it's so sad to me to see this happen because I think that this could have been an extremely successful board game. I'm sure that it still will sell some copies, don't get me wrong. But you had Eric Lang, you know, igniting this fire surrounding it, doubling, tripling, quadrupling down, and even then saying, oh, I deleted all my posts on this, but I still stand by it. Why would you do that? If you stand by what you said, if you stand by the decisions you've made, why try to hide? Because it's just not going to work. The internet does not forget. We are going to be talking about you adding pronouns to these character cards. We are going to be talking about you calling us effing man babies for criticizing this decision. And these people are such sensitive snowflakes. They take everything so personally. We're just sitting here criticizing a video game, or in this case, a board game, and a decision that was made with this game. But instead, he calls us effing man babies for talking about it and for a couple of people daring to leave one ratings. I mean, my God, just taking everything so personally. And I think that it's great that we are seeing this individual saying this, you know, vowing through, um, you know, their version of the game, the Czech version of the game, that it is unnecessary and they will be arguing with the publisher that they do not want them there. And I think we are going to actually see a lot of people buying this version to basically stand in solidarity and show their support. I know I personally would definitely try to get my hands on a check version of it if this does actually happen. We do not know if it will for certain. Maybe they won't even end up making a check version. But at the end of the day, we are seeing tons of different people fighting back against this from gamers to also board game designers. We also, of course, have publishers. And now on the game store page for the, you know, check version, we have this individual coming out from Asmodee, which again, is an embracer company vowing to remove the pronouns. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. And if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I'll talk to you all again in the next video really soon.